Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Terraria with Yak. This is the guide for finding Skeletron Prime on Calamity's Death Mode and Master Mode Enabled. So, for this fight, this is, um, if you're following my guides, this is the third mech boss. So you're gonna have the post mech boss 2 gear. Um, so the, you're gonna be using the same weapons that we've been using. Um, the Celestial Claymore and the Flare Frost Blade are the best, uh, by far the best two for this fight. What you can do is when you start off the fight, once you immediately spawn the boss, you can actually use the flare, the uh, or the uh, the celestial claymore for a few seconds. But then you're gonna want to switch quickly to the flare frost blade for phase one, just because the boss kind of stays at range mostly and it kind of flies above you. It's hard to hit hit it with the celestial claymore. Um, but you'll see here I'm using the mithril armor. Now you have a lot of options at this stage, like um, you have the tier 3 bars, like titanium, you also have Daedalus armor and the frost armor, um, most of those armor sets are irrelevant from my testing, um, mithril I think is, the, is by far the best for damage, um, but it does have the lowest defense, but since I'm a little bit more experienced, um, I am pretty good at the game, so I... I usually stick with mithril because the damage on it is just so high um, but if this is like your first time or you're struggling I would switch to the Daedalus armor because it still has great damage and it has the highest defense that you can get at this stage all right because remember you can't get the turtle armor yet because you don't have access to something that can mine chlorophyte so you have to the Daedalus armor gives you the best defense um, the accessories are mostly the same um, just know, switch from the evasion scarf to the ornate shield, it's just way better. It's basically like the pre-Plantera Asgard's Valor, because you can now ram enemies with it, so it's just, it's very convenient. So for phase one, like you just saw there before the spinning head, um, the four, it will spawn with, with four arms. And this is very different from the pre-hard mode Skeletron because the four arms are different. You have two melee arms which are on the bottom and the two ranged arms which are on the top. Now the ranged arms, there will be one that shoots lasers and one that shoots rockets and the rockets are homing. Um, they are by far the two most dangerous arms. The melee ones are kind of irrelevant. Um, if you're having trouble, um, aim Use the flare frost blade and use an aim towards the ranged arm. And so the homing should do all the all the work for you. So you should have no problem hitting. And if you can get adrenaline, that's even better. Um, you don't have to take down the ranged ones first. I don't even think I do that in this in this run. But it is convenient because they are the harder arms and also as you take down arms the other ones become more aggressive so that's something to note too but as you can see here we're in phase two i'm about to beat the boss actually in a few seconds um this is the head only so um the head psych the head like kind of goes in a cycle um so but these cycles kind of change or he adds new things basically so first the head will spin at you but it won't shoot any lasers or anything, and then what it will do is after it's done uh, chasing at you like it is here, just with no lasers, it will go and then spin in a circle, okay? And this is when it will release the skeleton head projectiles at you, or the, the glowing skull, I think it's called, or cursed head projectiles. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Um, and they home towards you. Um, they do a lot of damage, so try not to get hit by those. Um, and then uh, later on, he'll add in the lasers. So when he's spinning his head at you, when he's charging at you, uh, it will also he will also shoot lasers at you. So that's something to note as well. And then later on, um, he'll also add in rockets as kind of like a third cycle. So after he launches the cursed heads, he will then fly up above you and shoot homing rockets back at you. Um, what you kind of want to do in this phase is you want to cycle between the Flare Frost Blade and the Celestial Claymore. Um, when he's spinning, when the spinning head is going on, when he's charging at you, you want to use the Celestial Claymore. It just does so much damage.
Um, but then once he flies back up, quickly switch back to the Flare Frost Blade. Um, because the homing just kind of takes care of all that. Because he can be hard to hit if you don't have a homing weapon. He does move very fast. But anyways, that's about it for this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.